May God bless your life, your home, and your family. You have been asking God for an answer, and He is telling you, My son, my daughter, the answer you asked of me is already on its way into your hands. Just trust that I am working in your life. You may have the feeling that it's taking too long, or that it will never happen, and that it's better to give up. But the Lord says to you, don't stop fighting because I am ahead of you, opening all the doors and paths and in my time, it will happen. You may be going through a period of doubts, afflictions, and difficulties. You've been walking without enthusiasm and feeling tired, and you've felt your strength depleting. But it is in this moment that you must move forward by the strength of God because He is the one who sustains you. Write in the comments, I can do all things through Him who strengthens me. While we live relying on our own strength, we won't succeed. As long as we think that it's us who make things happen in our lives, we are destined to fail because without God to help us, it's very difficult to get anywhere. Therefore, you need to stop relying on your own strength and start living with God's strength. You need to take your eyes off the circumstances and start seeing with the eyes of faith. And you should move according to what God's will wants for your life. So, now, you will surrender control of everything into the hands of the Father. And you will pray with all your faith so that your body, your soul, and your heart start moving according to the power of God that dwells within you. From today onwards, move by the strength that comes from God. Think with the wisdom that comes from the Father. And use all the resources you have, those that the Lord has already given you. Do not allow others to doubt you, to steal your faith, and to let the enemy frustrate your dreams. Give permission and repeat with faith, writing here in the comments, I take possession of my blessing. Close your eyes to what does not edify you. Close your ears to what does not help you. Do not associate with people who will not bring any good or add anything to your life. You need to focus on what the Word of God tells you to start reaping the fruits that the Lord has for you. And rejoice in your first victories, because every journey starts with a first step. Be happy with every move you make towards your victory. And enjoy your process because God is teaching you, guiding you, and taking care of you. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for His name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Word of God tells you today, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding, in all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. Let's pray. Repeat after me. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I thank you because I trust that your answer is already coming to me. I believe that you are showing me the path I need to follow to reach all the promises you have stored for me. I trust, Lord, that your hand is upon me, supporting, protecting, and taking care of me. You are opening closed doors. You are guiding my steps, removing thorns and all the snares of the enemy, cutting the cords of death, 
breaking the poisonous arrows of the enemy, and all the work of evil. You are prospering my ways, pouring your anointing into my home. You are blessing my work and providing all that I need. I trust in you, my God. Therefore, I entrust my life and the lives of my family into your hands, knowing that you are in control of everything. I trust in you, Lord, and rest in your arms because I know that the one who guards me never sleeps and is currently working in my favor. Father, forgive my mistakes, my sins, my failures, my weaknesses, my insecurities, and my lack of faith. I know that many times I failed to trust in you and even tried to do things on my own without asking for your help. There were moments when I thought you weren't with me, that you had abandoned me, and I was truly alone. I cried for help, I called your name, and I thought you weren't listening anymore. However, during my most difficult moments, I thought the footprints I saw on the ground were mine, but in reality, it was you carrying me in your arms. Because you love me, you take care of me, and you are by my side. Today, I am certain of this. So today, I place my life entirely in your hands, and rest because I know that you are taking care of everything for me. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. Surely he will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge, his faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, The Lord is my refuge, and you make the Most High your dwelling. No harm will overtake you, no disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra, you will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him, I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me, and I will answer him, I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Surrender your life to God. Give everything to God and trust that the Lord is already bringing the answer you so desperately need. Just trust and do your best, speak the possible, because the impossible, the Lord is already doing for you. God is working the impossible in your life for you to receive what he promised you. Just trust because before you even imagine it, the answer will be in your hands. God is on your side, working in your favor. Thank and prophesy with faith. I receive my victory in the name of Jesus. Amen.